what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about scream six in this video here again today so we'll be talking about a couple things we'll be talking about nev campbell and as far as like the stages of her being in talks to return as sydney prescott in scream six and we'll also go into details about scream six and its pre-production when it's supposedly supposed to be starting talk about the working title for the film and the filming locations for scream six as it's still set to again start filming sometime this summer that's the plan so starting off first with nev campbell nev campbell has confirmed that she is indeed in talks to return but she's waiting on a script before she actually says you know what i'll 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 join you again for another scream movie so she said this recently at a convention the mad monster party uh, where she was asked a question about the upcoming film and she said that they have approached me there's no script yet there is a draft coming in soon is what I was told actually I was supposed to call a producer yesterday because he wanted to talk to me about what's going on you know we'll see I'll read the script and we'll see how I feel so going off of that this tells me that Nev Campbell is of course someone who has a lot of care for what happens to her character I've seen people say that all she's just saying what she wants to say to sound good in public I mean it's possible I don't think it's that case i think she really does care about sydney's progression but if you choose to believe that she is mostly just trying to portray a different look for the public okay so be it if, if that's what she wants to do then that's what she wants to do whatever if you think she's literally just waiting to see how many uh commas are going to be on that check then i i, I get that too <laughs> but i don't i don't think that's the case i think it's mostly just her being interested in them handling sydney well and she's already made it clear there's certain things she would not want to see done to the character so she wouldn't be participating in it if they have not done a good job writing Sydney, or even if they've done a great job and there's just some slight tweaks that are in the in the movie or the script that she reads, she might say, yeah, I'll do it, but I won't do this. And I'm sure they'll tweak it for her. I'm sure they'll tweak it for her, such as like maybe they write in something that they think is brilliant in regards to Sydney dying. I think she's already made it clear she wouldn't want to have that happen. So if she somehow can convince them not to kill Sydney, I'm sure they'll work with it if it means they get to have Sydney Prescott in another screen movie and use her as a selling point, of course. Uh, so the other thing we need to talk about is the pre-production. So pre-production is expected to start on March 7th. Now, before I get into that, I do need to shout out UK because you sent sent this information over to me yesterday from Production Weekly, that site that again is very reliable when it comes to having updated details about what's going on with certain productions, whether that be films, TV shows. Uh, I know for those of you who watch my Jeepers Creepers videos, I did use that to kind of share some info about that project as well. So Production Weekly, as you see here on your screen, they have that little listing that you have if you subscribe to them where it says Scream 6 feature film is coming to us again from Project X Entertainment. It has all the people you'd expect to be attached to it. Uh, and the producers, you see Kevin Williamson, Chad Villela, and you see Radio Silence, you see Matt and Tyler, you see James Vanderbilt mentioned the writer, Guy Busick. Uh, and the, the status is saying summer 2022, because that's again when it's supposed to start filming. And the location it says is Montreal. So Montreal is a, is a uh, place in the city of Quebec in Canada, I believe. So that's where Scream 6 looks like it'll be filming. Uh, it'll be filming out in Canada. Uh, and this could also allow them to do a lot more with their budget because i i do think it's it would be less expensive for them to film out in canada which would give them chances to use their budgets for maybe a lot more chase sequences and other stuff that could make this movie much more better than the fifth movie that we got even though that one was fine how it is anyway uh but i'm sure filming in canada we might have even higher expectations this time around just because of them probably being able to accomplish more within their budget and the other thing we need to talk about is something else that I, that I got sent. This person, I'm not going to say their name because they want to remain anonymous. So someone sent me a picture with the production details of the upcoming Scream 6. It's coming from a, a QTIS. It's basically the the quebec version of iatse now that it would be the international allegiance of theatrical stage employees it's a labor union you've seen their logo associated with a lot of movies you've seen throughout your life there it's one of the logos you see at the very bottom of end credits so basically it's a document that i've been sent it goes over the pre-production 
and pre-production is supposed to start on March 7th. Now, pre-production would involve them, of course, scouting locations, maybe finalizing the script, gathering up the cast, deciding what locations they want to use, what equipment they'll need, uh, basically just figuring out what they want to do within their budget, supposedly, is basically what I recall how pre-production works. And then, of course, production would be the actual process of turning the stuff that you prepped into an actual thing, making it so... Uh, and so on and so forth so that would occur of course later this summer but pre-production is apparently supposed to start March 7th and we can most likely start expecting cast announcements to come out in the coming months like April maybe May hopefully April if pre-production does actually start on March 7th without any interruptions again it's shooting out in Montreal th this summer and this is going to be work going under the working title of Blackmore. Now, we know Scream 5 was under the working title of Parkside Alpha. Parkside Alpha didn't seem to have any relevance to the actual film. I don't recall anything in Scream 5 connecting itself to its working title. I know those of us who are also Halloween fans, we think Cave Dweller has something to do with Michael's uh, storyline for Halloween Ends, but we'll see. But going off of what they did with Scream 5, I don't think the working title being Blackmore holds any relevance to the overall film itself. But the working title for Scream 6, while it's shooting out in Montreal this summer, will supposedly be Blackmore. And again, this is just a document that I have in front of me that I won't be showing because, again, it's coming from a site that is locked for non-members. And it was just graciously sent over to me. And again, someone who wants to remain anonymous. So Scream 6, again, is supposedly being shot in Montreal this summer. It's going under the working title of Blackmore. And pre-production is supposed to start March 7th. Well, there'll be scouting locations, presumably gathering up the cast, finalizing the script. Not that they aren't already doing that and so on and so forth. Nev will most likely, of course, get to read that script, decide if she wants to be in it or not. And then from there, we'll start getting those announcements that a lot of us are waiting for as it relates to Ghostface and its and their pending return which many of us are hoping will happen sometime in 2023 at this stage depending on when they film in the summer this could be either mid 2023 or fall 2023 honestly the october season next year is going to be empty without michael myers so i think they can pull that off if they want to just release it october 2023 but we'll see what they do they can do whatever they want to as long as it's marketed appropriately <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video